Much has been going on in Venezuela of late. Maduro, President Maduro, has reduced the trading ratio of his nation's currency by about five orders of magnitude, allowing it to trade in denominations of thousands to dollars and euros rather than of millions. The interesting aspect of the story is that Maduro is claiming this new fiat money will be backed by the Venezuelan Petro, the first national experiment in government cryptocurrency. Uh, Petro does not work like Bitcoin and the other types of cryptocurrency where so-called miners generate new coins into the system as a reward for putting their computers to task on the network. Instead, the coin works more like the financial industry's crypto experiment Ripple, or would-be experiment if they could ever get that one formalized. Or, uh, you know, it, it, in any case, an initial fixed quantity of the tokens are going to be created at the initial offering in, in those cases. Uh, trading is still secured by a cryptographic ledger mechanism, but essentially uh, the Venezuelan government got to parcel out a s chunk for themselves and the rest they let trade at, at, at market. Um, another oddity is in order to entice foreign capital to buy into the Petro, Maduro has promised that the Petro crypto coin will be convertible at a one-to-one -one ratio with a barrel of oil at market value. You know, Venezuela is one of the most oil-rich nations in the world, so it's not entirely incredible to think that that's possible. But what's still fuzzy is how exactly that convertibility will be secured or guaranteed, and the Petro's white paper does not discuss the matter. I think it's obvious to everybody inside and outside of Venezuela that the economy of the country is circling the drain, and it's already causing enough problems with the country's neighbors that the uh, Maduro administration is going to have to seek support from nations outside of the United States sphere of influence, uh, where they will risk being deposed from their enemies within Venezuela that, that are backed by Washington or some combination of Washington and their adversaries in South America. Uh, not the most what optimistic, but thank you for listening anyway. Uh, please like and share, and I will uh, catch you next time.